Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. Cars are a great means of transport for us, but we often underestimate the need for safety in such automobiles. Everybody knows how dangerous car crashes can be. If a person weighing 80 kilograms traveling at just 30 km per hour crashes or stops suddenly, then the average impact force would be about 14 kN. That would feel like getting hit by a mass of about 1400 kgs and that too when the seat belt is fastened. The damage also depends on various other factors like the speed of the car, the seat belts, airbags and even the size of the car. A bigger car will be better in keeping you safe at times of a crash as compared to a smaller car. Various regulatory bodies give crash ratings to a car based on their safety. For example, let's take Bharat New Vehicle Safety Assessment Program. This is one such program in India that gives crash ratings to cars according to their safety performance. Another such regulatory body in the United States is the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, an agency under the US federal government. By the way, did you know which car is touted to be the safest on the planet? Well, if you are a fan of Elon Musk, then you might know the answer. The Tesla Model 3 has the lowest probability of injury in a collision according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. There are various reasons why the Tesla Model 3 was able to achieve a 5-star rating. A car's safety is one of the main points considered while designing it and it all goes down to the basic structure called the body in white. The body in white or BIW is the basic sheet metal body of the car welded together before the assembly of any moving parts. This basic body has the components like the roof, doors, fenders and the hood. Even a seemingly simple car has a lot under that shiny paint. The body in white itself is divided into various subdivisions. These substructures have various panels having specific capabilities. An underbody structure is one such BIW part. It has front and rear floors that provide the base for front and rear seats and dash panels that separate the engine and the driver cabin. In addition to that, the underbody structure also has a razor that connects the front floor to the rear floor. Along with the underbody structure, a BIW also has a front end structure. The front end structure, as the name suggests, houses all the front end parts of the car like fenders or wheelhouse, the upper and lower tie bars that connect both the sides of the structure, and the cowl that is the rearmost part of the hood connecting with the base of the windshield. Just like the front end, there is also the body side structure. This is the support for the roof. The support is provided by various pillars located at the front, middle and rear part. These pillars are named as A, B and C pillars respectively from the front to the rear. Along with the pillars, there are ring and quarter panels that connect the front and rear parts. The body side structure also has gutters at the top that direct the falling water away from the window. There are two more fundamental structures of a body in white. The first is a closure that includes the central part of the car body having the doors and the hood of the car. The hood saves the passenger by transferring the impact force to the structure of the car rather than to the passenger. There are two types of hoods, namely active and passive hood. A passive hood has only one operation of covering the front end, while an active hood can have additional features to increase the crash rating. The last structure is the roof. The roof is the structure above the windshield having panels to provide structural strength to the overall structure and to withstand overhead forces like that of snow. The BIW structure has a lot more components than the basic ones we discussed. But there are better places to learn in depth about the design of structures, their analysis and their uses. One of the places is Skilllink. With the top-notch instructors from the industry and dedicated support team ready to clear your doubts via text or call, you can have all the relevant guidance needed for today's engineer of tomorrow. If you're still wondering about the 5-star rating of Tesla, then you might as well know that the reason for such a good score was the integration of various parameters like a low center of gravity, structural rigidity, an AI computer on board to guide in case of emergencies, and even an autopilot. Not just that, it is also to be noted that electric vehicles can be designed with much more compactness as compared to gasoline cars that need a lot of space for fuel tanks and engines. That is why electric vehicles are the vehicles of tomorrow. If you're interested in hybrid electric vehicle design or just the process of engineering design or any such interesting topic, then head on to that link in the description to learn more about your favorite subject and we'll see you next time. Until then, bye!